Cut Crow. Hi, my name is Dove and welcome to Colours, City of Liverpool online radio station with our new showcase. Uh, today we're going to be uh, talking to uh, the wonderful... I'm um, Rachel. So uh, Sharon is about to do uh, the regular yearly uh, Threshold Festival, the Community Day, at District in the Baltic Triangle. And uh, we've got a, a special uh, a, event attached to the uh, Threshold this year, which is um, a fashion come... Uh, Whatever, but I'm going to let Rachel explain it. So, Rachel, can you tell us about the idea you've got and why you came up with it and, yeah, a bit more about Okay, so I'm running at Threshold this year, I'm running a, a charity fair called uh, From Fashion to Compassion. Mm -hmm. It's basically to raise funds for, uh, for Syria Relief and UNICEF to help uh, people who have been displaced by war um, across, the, across the world, really. Um, I came up with the idea when I was like, cleaning out my room. <laughs> uh, I realised that I had far too much stuff. Um, and it was at a time when on our news feeds and on the TV mm. uh, we see a lot of, a lot of death and war um, and everything in, in Syria just really not going well. <laughs> no, 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 I understand and I can associate with what you say about all the clothes you just have laying around at home. So the idea, if people have got clothes at home, what is that kind of thing? So I kind of thought maybe other people were feeling uh, as helpless as me in some ways, wanting to make a difference and to make a change, mm. um, but not really being sure how. So this has kind of given them the opportunity to step up and if they've got any, had any extra clothing, any shoes, handbags, anything like that, they could donate them. Um, uh, for this fair. How do how, how do they go about donating? What, what, what you know? How, how does it happen? So uh, on Facebook um, and by word of mouth, mm. uh, I have had a few drop off points in Liverpool. People could leave clothes, which I would pick up. Um, Where are those drop off points? So uh, the Blackburn Arms on Catherine Street, uh, the Egg Cafe, which is just off Renshaw Street. That's on the top floor. Um, what about the City College of Liverpool? And the, on and the City of Liverpool College. On Myrtle Street. Uh, at the reception, the Arts Centre. Um, Fabulous. Yeah, that's, that's at the moment. And tell me a bit about what you hope to achieve, you know, on the day at Threshold. I mean, how's, how do you hope for to, to that to work? What involvements, you know, is there fashion shows? Is there, you know, tell us a bit about what's going to happen. So, throughout the whole day, um, there's going to be uh, the clothes fair, mm. basically selling vintage clothes. There's a lot of really good donations as well, so mm. if you're wanting to shop, it'll all be going to a good cause. Everything, uh, it's completely non-profit. Mm. It's all going to the charities, 50-50. Um, uh, there's also gonna, going to be a fashion show mm. of mm. more high-end clothes, such as um, we've got Choker Chores. Mm. Is giving us a few items to uh, basically auction off after the fashion show. So if you're wanting some very, very beautiful clothes, we've got some good designers. And, know, and, and I, bid for the clothes. And I, and I heard you know, one of our meetings, you mentioned like wedding dresses and stuff. I mean, how, how, how does that work yeah, in terms of if anyone wants to? Because some people oh, went oh, to yeah. wedding dresses, um, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. Very popular items, but people sometimes had them in there. Well, Lisa um, McEwen. Oh yes, my. Said she would donate a wedding dress. Um, so if any of you guys at home have wedding dresses <laughs> that you don't need, again, drop them off to those points that uh, she mentioned earlier. Um, so mm. I'm just trying to think. Uh, the, there's been a couple of very odd items that have been donated actually as well. Um, we had a, a giant glitter ball, <laughs> uh, a motorcycle helmet, which I'm not sure we can really I think sell, you can. but yeah, there'll yeah, definitely yeah. be a market somewhere for it, but I may have to. So it's not, uh, Rachel, it's not just, I mean it's mainly clothes, but people can donate other things if they think it might be, so was it just specific clothes you're looking at? It's mainly clothes, I, I was asking yeah. for, you know, shoes and and handbags and clothes. We've got kids' clothes people have donated, men's mm. clothes, 
women's clothes. So uh, there's something for everyone, really. And those, those, especially in Syria, like the young kids and stuff, are, are severely affected by uh, the war. So I, I assume that that'd be really helpful to have clothes. And well, this the clothes are for the fair to sell. But mm. um, if there is anything that we we don't sell, um, I'm planning a trip over the summer to refugee camps to bring toys and clothing mm. and and supplies uh, for for those people as well. Oh, that's brilliant. So if anyone watching at home behind the camera wants to get in touch with you, uh, Twitters or Facebook or emails, how do they contact yeah, you? So um, if you would like to follow us on Facebook, it's uh, Facebook slash uh, Fashion to Compassion with num the number two in the middle. Um, on Twitter, it's at Fashion for underscore change. <laughs> <laughs> so that's um, uh, the Threshold Festival on Sunday the 2nd of April at District. Uh, yeah, please get involved, uh, add or like the link. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching Colours, City of Liverpool Online Radio Station. And Rachel, thank you very much for talking about mm -hmm. your fashion to compassion.